Hi, I'm Chandan. I'm a geoscientist based out of Bangalore and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about MTech program in Earth Sciences at IISC. So let's get started with the video. There are four broad topics that I will cover here. First is eligibility for the MTech program. Second is the areas of study or the courses that are taught as part of this program. Third is the array of faculty members that are there. And fourth is the selection process and the intake. So first it is good to share that uh, this is a interdisciplinary program uh, similar to the uh, program that I shared in my last video about uh, MTech in climate sciences. MTech in earth sciences is also an interdisciplinary uh, program. So the eligibility is quite broad. A lot of people from a lot of varied disciplines are eligible to apply for this program. So first of all, people who have done their BTEC or BE are uh, eligible to apply and they should have a GATE paper or they have a GATE score in a GATE paper from mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer sciences, engineering sciences, or life sciences. So it's quite a broad, as you can see, uh, the eligibility criteria for graduates of BE or BTEC. The second is uh, if you have done an MSc, you're also eligible to apply for this MTech program. And in uh, that case, if you are done an MSc, you need to have a GATE paper in geology uh, geology and geophysics or chemistry or physics or mathematics. Uh, here uh, there is a possibility uh, that if you have a net uh, CSIR UGC net uh, after your MSc you should be eligible but you need to uh, check if the year you are applying please check whether that criteria is also there in case and if it is there you are also eligible to apply through uh, UGC CSIR net uh, instead of GATE as well if you are an MSc uh, graduate. Now let's come to the study area. So there are around 14 courses like very much like the other uh, MTech programs at IISC in Earth Sciences also uh, there are 14 courses that you need to take. The so the course is offered at the Center for Earth Sciences or CEAS. I will give the link uh, of the website of Center for Earth Sciences in the description and you can explore the website a little more to know more about the faculty members as well as the people who are currently um, studying at this center. So the courses that are offered here starts with uh, biogeochemistry, fundamentals of geophysics, introduction to chemical oceanography, mathematics for geophysicists, origin and evolution of the earth, solid earth geophysics, advanced chemical oceanography, fluid dynamics of planetary interiors, introduction to earth system science, introduction to petrology, Introduction to Satellite Geodesy, Inverse Problems in Geophysics, Isotope Geochemistry, and Mental Convection. So you can see that there is a huge array of courses that are offered starting from Geochemistry to Geophysics to uh, Geodesy as well as Oceanography. So it's a very very comprehensive program I would say. and. Uh, it is really a good course to apply for and to explore if you are eligible for this. For example, if you are from a discipline such as, uh, say, civil engineering or, chemi or chemical engineering, probably you, especially in chemical engineering, you probably may be interested in geochemistry, which is very fascinating in itself. So because when you are applying for IISC, you are eligible to apply uh, for I think three courses or three departments. So 
not only to apply to your own uh, major stream so for example if you are if you are civil engineer and you are applying for masters program uh, you may consider applying for earth sciences as well uh, if you are interested say in geomechanics or uh, geotechnical engineering or things like that uh, only applying in civil engineering may reduce your chances of getting in but if you apply to three different departments it is a good chance or there is a good probability that you may get into one of the courses at iisc now let us come to the faculty members so there is also a good array of faculty members there are eight faculty members in the center for earth sciences at iisc they are vinod srinivasan prashanjit ghosh sajeev krishnan Ramananda Chakraborty, Atri Ghosh, Sambuddha Mishra, Pawan Bharadwaj, and Brahmadatta Vishwakarma. So there are eight faculty members. As you can understand that they are from various disciplines, from geophysics to geochemistry to oceanography to geodesy. So they their specializations are also very varied. In the link, in the description, I'll provide the link. of the website of center for earth sciences and you can explore more and know about these faculty members to see what are their fields of expertise and how you can utilize your time if you are at all considering to apply for the mtech program uh, it's a good idea to explore and see what are the various courses and what type of uh, dissertation project you will be interested to do in whether it will be in geophysics or geochemistry or what uh, you wish to do it's it's really good to explore that beforehand and finally the selection and intake uh, so the intake is only 5 uh, so that's a very small number uh, so you need to be uh, you need to know things a little more in advance to get through the mtech process uh, through the selection process i guess and also uh, the selection process 70% is based on the uh, uh, entrance examination or the written examination that you give which is in terms of gate primarily and also uh, maybe uh, the ugc csi or net uh, exam if it is uh, an allowed uh, exam or an acceptable exam for the year that you are applying for and 30% is based on interview so based on the get score or the net score uh, you will be called for an interview and based on the these two criteria together you will be judged and possibly you will be you will get selected so that's that about this course thank you for coming to my channel and watching this video if you like my content then please like share uh, the video and subscribe to my channel for updates on videos like this i release my videos every tuesday uh, so you'll get to know more about such programs and then if you have any questions uh, please feel free to comment uh, write in the comment section also i'm open to suggestions if you have any suggestions that you wish to see certain type of videos or certain topics to be covered by me i'll be very happy to learn from that from you so please let me know in the comment section see you in the next video bye bye